Snake here, and the game I'm going to be doing a video on today is my first Game Gear game. I did do others in the past, and I just never uploaded them for some fucking reason or whatever. But the game I'm going to be doing commentary on is Battleship on the Sega Game Gear. And yeah, I'm holding the manual. I bet you want to see the cartridge. Here's the cartridge. And, of course, here is the cover for it. I got this for about 20 bucks on eBay. It is not worth that much. I actually like this version better than the Game Boy Color version. Now, this version is a direct port of the NES version. Sorry for saying version so much. Usually it's fuck or shit or something. Anyways, so Callisto, under the alias NGM Productions, developed this version. So, let's give it a try. Alright, here we go. So, we're gonna start off here, and as you can see, the graphics are actually a lot better than the NES version. Like I said, this is a part of the NES version, if you, so if you want to see that, go ahead and check it out. Now, I placed my ships in the most obvious spots, so sorry about that. Alright. So, the game starts, and I'm just gonna make my move here. Oh, whoops, that's... Okay, so the A button changes your missile, and B fires, alright. Of course I miss, alright. So now the computer's gonna try shooting at me. Oh, he's gonna hit it. But this one's, like, really fucking slow. I mean, look at this. That's my only problem with it. It runs really effing slow. I don't know what's slower, this version or the fucking Game Boy Color version. Just goes to show, graphics don't make the game. So I'm gonna try a bigger missile, like, I'll try the same one he did, and probably not gonna do it for my luck, but I'll give it the old college try. Whoops, yeah, that's what I want. Um, yeah, I guess I can fire down here. And I'm probably not gonna hit anything. I see this part goes faster, but... Oh, I got him, alright. Well, that makes two of us, then. Ugh. Now, I still gotta get my hands on the NES version, because I actually like that version. Not that I hate the Game Gear version, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it, but, I'm, you know, I'm just saying, you know. Whoops, no, uh, no, uh, okay, sorry, it takes a while to get used to controls. And I don't know what I was saying, the one button fires, and the B button, um, yeah, the, the, the B button, you know what I'm fucking talking about, the, the, no, the two button, jeez, can't fucking talk today, the two button fires. Okay, there we go. Got out of my system. Great. Okay. God, I'm starting to think these ships had, like, fucking fu burritos for dinner or something. I mean, they fucking, they make farting noise when they get hit. Listen. Alright, not there, but when I do it, anyways. So I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh, I didn't pay attention if I sunk him or not. Okay, maybe this will do it. Jeez. Wait, what the fuck do those sailors eat on the fucking ship? Like, fucking chili chips and beefy bean burritos? I mean, what the fuck, man? It's gross. Alright. Uh, Alright, and I'll just, I'm just gonna fire it down here. Or, fuck! These controls are definitely gonna take some getting used to. Uh, okay, maybe here. The fuck! Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know how to play this version. I, I obviously suck. Oh man, I missed all four spots. But that's okay, because I'm still believing I'll hit him. Big waste, buddy. Then again, how do you know where I am? You know. Oh, oh boy. Like I said, I really do like the graphics in this version over the NES version, but of course it's because they're better, you know. But, you know, graphics don't make a better game, and you know that, I know that, and everyone in the whole fucking world knows that's a... No, I got these two missiles left that go, like, so far away from each other. Oh, uh, I'll use it. What the fuck? Even though I'm not gonna hit anything, but oh well. Oh! <laughs> What the fuck? I actually hit something. Yeah, it's quite can we say anything for a bit after that missile hit. Alright. Uh, I guess you could say I have missile toes. Lol. Best joke ever. I don't know why anyone's laughing right now. 
but they should be, because if not, I'm gonna fucking dump their bodies in a sack and throw it down a river. No, no, I'm just joking, no, I'm just joking. Alright, anyways, so I'm gonna keep hitting this, car, this guy, and I don't know if I'm gonna win, and I don't know if I'm gonna stick around to do the whole round, but, because I know how I am, I'm always like, okay, I'm gonna go, bye, and then I somehow continue the video, so let's see. Alright. Oh, that must be his battleship then. I thought those were the aircraft carriers, but apparently I'm wrong. If the game calls them battleships, so and there's no submarines near here or something. I think you get them like like in the middle of the game. I think there's like 99 rounds or whatever until you actually beat the game. Well, here's a little cheat code. If you actually enter in like the year that the game was released or a year before the game was released, 1992, then the game actually uh, uh, displays the credits. Uh, but it's, they're not even really fucking credits, they're just cute and quality assurance testers, so... Unless you count those games develop as the game developers, then you're fucked, and... Oh, uh, anyways, um, I actually did get in touch with the producer, which they do list on, the, on this version and the NES version, Steve Hutchins, and... Now, the credits you can find on the VGMPF, um, wiki, um... Maybe I'll put a link in the description to see the, where the, for the screen where the credits are on, but... Anyways, so... Um... Yeah, so it lists a few Q&A touch, and that says, um, special thanks to Nicholas Speed Racer. Um, and I hope the producer's okay with me telling people about this. Don't worry, because not many people watch my videos. If you do have a problem with it, I will remove the video. Um, no problem, but... Uh, he said... The reason why he's credited with that is because um, the Nicholas Gom, the guy, the founder of Callisto, he actually came to California to Mindscape's headquarters to like help make the game, and I guess he got a speeding ticket, so that you know that kind of so that's why they <laughs> gave him that name, which is actually a pretty funny story. I mean, you don't hear that a lot, so it's cool to know that. Um, and then it was programmed by a guy named Gil Epesh, or Espesh, or, I don't know, some French man, I don't know. So, I like this version a lot better than the Game Boy Color version, in fact, I think it's a shame they didn't release this one on the Game Boy Color, but, you know, what can you do? Pack and Video is a pretty good developer, too, so, I mean, you can't be too disappointed. Mindscape never made us the best games, you know. Anyways, not that my game sucks, I like similar games, but, um, huh. Anyway, so he's firing randomly, and of course he's gonna pick a spot that my ship's at, and now I only got my frigate left, or whatever the fuck you call it. I, I remember it as a patrol boat, but I guess I'm wrong. It's, I keep getting these controls fucked up. And, okay, now fortunately I found the frigate, so the other boats will be easier to find, but, I mean, if he attacks my frigate, that's it. I mean, this frigate game is just pissing me off right now. No, I mean, see, that I make, I make the worst jokes. I mean, come on, you know it's true. And he's gonna hit that, and then he's gonna hit the other side, and then my battleship's gonna be sunk, then he's gonna only have one ship left to sink. Anyways. Ah, fuck, man, I wish you could... Now if you lose, you're actually able to see the enemy is bored, so, I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. If you're playing this on an emulator, you know, you just save state and lose, and then, you know. <laughs> but what's funny is, they shouldn't have programmed this, it this way, but you could actually accidentally, like, fire in the same place that you did before, so waste, completely wasting your shot. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of corny, but, oh well, you know, that's how the NES version is, and this is obviously a direct conversion of the NES version, so... Oh, I got him! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. And I think the ship placement's always random when you play, so, like, it's not the same every time, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe it's programmed where, like, each level has a different specific setup. So, oh, no, 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 don't, you don't want to shoot there, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, well, okay, not perfect, because you're almost going to hit my guy, but still. Alright, so, just one more shot, and I should kill him. Uh, oh, no, no, no! What the fuck, man? Oh, yeah, the computer was like, oh, fuck, I better cheat, because he's going to kick my ass, so I better kick his ass first. And, of course, well, what fucking difference does it make? He's going to get me, he's going to get me after this, but... 
Uh, fuck this. Fuck. Watch. It, it's pointless now. Now he's gonna get my my frigate, and I'm dead. There you go. Well, guess what, Mr. Game? Fuck you. Fuck you, your stupid ass. Your fucking clown shoes. And if you're real, I would kick your ass for being so stupid. No, actually, this version is not that bad. I just I'm just not all that good at this game. Now anyway, it's been years since I actually last played the board game, but I remember having like the electronic version and shit. Oh uh, yeah, you've lost. Well, of course I've lost. No, 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 I, I've won, even though all my ships are blown up, and then his are still remaining, yeah. So anyways, there you go. Pretty good game, but definitely not worth 20 bucks. So, thank you for watching, peace out, and I have a Game Boy Color game that was donated to me as the next video, so keep your eyes peeled on that. Thanks for watching, peace out.